हेलो वंडरफुल स्टूडेंट सो आई होप आई एम लाइव एंड आई एम ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल इफ सो प्लीज गिव अ कंफर्मेशन इफ आई एम ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल आई एम जस्ट चेकिंग इन माय यूट्यूब इन माय मोबाइल ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डर्माटोलॉजी रिकॉल क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एफ फ्रॉम एफ एम जी एग्जामिनेशन विच वॉज कंक्लूडेड ऑन ट्वेल्थ ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड देर वर यू नो वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन विच वर आस्ट फ्रॉम डर्माटोलॉजी गुड नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड दे वर ऑन ईजी साइड आई कैन से एंड दीज वर ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स विच हैव डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल इन माई ऑल माई क्लासेस एंड ऑल्सो आई हैव शेयर ऑल दिज इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स इन माई ग्रुप्स एंड दीज वर दे टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम विच द क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली केम टूडे and uh, some disclaimer before the session so these are recall questions so there may be some mcqs which the question is wrong or question framing is not correct and options were not complete so please uh, try to help me by telling in the comment section what were the additions which have to be made and uh, yes this is a learning experience for me also because we are lifelong learners there were some topics which were uh, you know told by the students which i also uh, felt they were some some somewhat no uh, new but remember students don't uh, you know worry much about what is the new thing which was asked but you should be worried about what is that topic which was previous year question previous year topic but uh, which you are making mistake now okay those are the things which you need to be very very careful about and that is absolutely not a mistake to be made and try to add some few points which uh, if you feel they were actually asked in this question and also do uh, like this video and also subscribe to this channel if you are new to this and uh, if you are neat pg 2025 or uh, ins ct aspirant then also these questions or uh, these topics are going to be very important and these are all the topics from which the questions actually came acne hair psoriasis nutritional disorder uh, vesiculobullous disorders okay some students told that there was a question but some told that it was not there yesterday's fungal infections and malignancies okay so this was the question 18 year old boy came with nodular acne over the face as shown in the image below back also had similar lesions what is going to be the treatment so what is going to be the treatment here remember students if there is a nodular cystic acne that is a grade 4 acne what is the best treatment we are going to advise it is going to be isotretinoin which is a oral retinoid oral retinoid which will be given oral retinoid which is going to the best treatment given for this patients next is a elderly woman breast chemotherapy was given and diffuse hair loss was noted and students told that there was a image which was given which was showing diffuse hair loss over the scalp where there was almost loss of the entire scalp hair what is the diagnosis so i hope all of you do remember we have also discussed this in the last minute revision video in our youtube also so anagen effluve very very important anagen effluve which is the hair loss diffuse pattern over the scalp after a initiation of the cancer chemotherapeutic medication okay so this is the next question which many students told that this was the image which was given which was showing silvery white scaly plaques present over the lumbosacral area so obviously the diagnosis is going to be psoriasis it is psoriasis and what is the test we are going to perform with the help of a glass slide we are going to scrape off the scale and we are going to ultimately see the pinpoint bleeding spots and yes the test is auspit sign so which is also referred to as grattage test so option a is the correct answer so some students were getting doubt why are the other options not the answer so nikolsky said it is associated with vesiculobullous disorders where acantholysis will be seen like for example femphigus asbo hansen test it is asbo hansen sign actually which is associated with 
again vesiculobullous lesions where we are going to apply perpendicular pressure over the vesicular lesion which is very small in size and we are going to see the spread of that vesicular lesion onto the surrounding normal skin and patch test I hope all of you know it is an investigation of the choice for allergic contact dermatitis okay so answer is going to be option a gratis test so feel free students if you think that the question uh, the image or the options were something different please put your feelings okay your uh, improvements in the comment section i will see and if i feel it was correct i will make a change which is required a uh, infant with multiple episodes of diarrhea presents with erythematous scaly lesion as shown in the picture many students told me that this was the picture which was uh, given so dermatitis changes present perennially that is peri orifacially which deficiency would cause this very 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 important question from a fmg exam point of view it is acrodermatitis enteropathica in which we are going to see a triad of features among which the most important component is going to be the dermatitis which is peri orifacial dermatitis and also acral dermatitis and there is going to be alopecia which will be seen in these patients and also diarrhea so this is a triad of these three features which is due to the zinc deficiency so answer is option b very very important topic so whenever we discuss this if you remember we always compare this with the pellagra pellagra i hope all of you do remember which is going to have three d's diarrhea dermatitis and dementia and also fourth d death okay so this is zinc Next question, this is a very standard repeated question, deep fungal infections, a microbiology dermatology integrated question, prick by rose thorn, there is a linear lesion which is noted which is following the lymphatics, what is the most likely diagnosis, so it is porotrichosis, so I would ask you one question here, was the image given in this question and the other question is what were the other options, so Many students, they remember the sporotrichosis, which is a standard, uh, many times repeated previous year question. So, they were unable to tell me what are the other options. If you can remember, please put your answer in the comment section. Next question, 30 year old female presented with painful red granular tissue on the vulva. So, genital ulcer, which is painful genital ulcer is mentioned and there is bilateral lymphadenopathy that is inguinal lymphadenopathy what is the diagnosis so if you remember we have discussed this the flow chart if you remember painful genital ulcers if they are there there are only two possible differentials you need to think of what are those one is a chancroid and the other one is a herpes so these are the two possibilities so herpes genitalis it was not mentioned in the option so the answer is going to be option a chancroid without any uh, you know doubt so bilateral hilar lymphadenopathy and in fact you can remember it can also be mentioned as a painful bubo which is given that can also be mentioned that would have been also mentioned so if you think anything else if, if you think the image was given please put your you know uh, suggestions in the comment section so 60 year old person very elderly person ulcer on the medial canthus ulcer had rolled out beaded margins histology showed palisading pattern what is the diagnosis so straight away it is basal cell carcinoma so it is a integrated question of pathology and also dermatology i hope all of you have marked this correct basal cell carcinoma next leprosy medication in adults what is the wrong dosage so remember students 300 mg clofazamine once a month is absolutely correct 50 mg clofazamine daily is also absolutely correct 100 mg dapsone is also absolutely correct but 450 mg rifampicin weekly this is the wrong dosage remember students the dosage of rifampicin is going to be 600 milligrams of rifampicin which is going to be given as a supervised once a month dose once a month dose and in fact we have remembered the dosages with a very simple trick so if you remember the dosage of rifampicin monthly and the dosage of the dapsone daily you can easily remember the clofazamine dosage so that is going to be the 300 mg monthly dose which is half that of the rifampicin 
and the daily dose of clofazamine is going to be half that of the dapsone dose. So, I hope that you remember this particular trick which we have discussed. And this was a question which students told me that uh, image which was looking like an infantile hemangioma was given and they have asked you the treatment for this. Okay. So, was th this actually image which was given and were these uh, options and uh, please help me in identifying uh, the what were the other options in the comment section and uh, uh, if these were the actual options which were mentioned then propranolol would be the uh, appropriate answer for this particular question which is a beta blocker used in the treatment of the infantile hemangiomas. So, please put your uh, you know uh, suggestions in the comments if you think that there was other options which were given not uh, but not this apart from this and this was another question where the students told me that there was some red lesion over the glands penis and there was pigmentation which was mentioned in the chin and also in the oral cavity some lesion was uh, given so what is the diagnosis was the question so if these were the options which were given then you can rule out condylum acuminate is going to present with verrucous solution over the genitalia so we can rule this out uh, because there is no such uh, verrucous lesion here and syphilis um, uh, okay we, uh, syphilis can have varied presentations where there can be this uh, genital uh, lesions uh, that is ulceration which can be present and also the hypopigmentation can be noted over the nape of the neck actually not chin exactly and tongue can also show uh, the if you remember snail track ulcers okay so not sure about uh, this particular question uh, so please help me out uh, related to this question the uh, question scenario and the options and the image what were these ex exactly so if you can uh, know this please do po put the uh, suggestions in the comment section and Peyronie's disease it is going to present it is going to present with fibrotic changes over the penis so we can rule this out also so lichen sclerosis could be one of the possibility which can present with inflammation present over the genitalia and also there can be associated hypopigmentation present in the skin and also in the mucosa so i would uh, go with the lichen sclerosis from uh, this particular case scenario and the image which was uh, given by the student till this point Next, uh, elderly person, 60-year-old person, middle canthus and uh, histopathology showed keratin pulse. What is the diagnosis? So, if this was the question, then the answer is going to be squamous cell carcinoma. But again, students told me that uh, the question was not this and the options were not having diagnosis. The option was having keratin pulse. So, feel free to post whatever is the actual version which came in the exam in the comment section i will be uh, checking out the comments and uh, that's it in this video i hope this was helpful and uh, these were the important topics from which actually major chunk 80 to 90 percent of the questions came and uh, surprisingly actually many questions came from dermatology which is a good thing because uh, it's a visual uh, field where you can see the lesion and you can come to diagnosis so it is a in in fact a good thing okay and uh, yeah i if you are having any more suggestions uh, related to the questions uh, so you can join my telegram group the name of which is uh, you know crack derma with drmsd so crack derma with drmsd you can just type it uh, and also the uh, links are there in the description also i will leave it in the comments section so you can go to that and you can join the group and ask any specific queries related to dermatology. So, thank you so much, uh, dear students, for all the patient listening. Happy, happy, happy learning dermatology. And like I have told you, any suggestions related to this particular paper, please put those suggestions in the comment section. Thank you so much. Happy learning. Sarvam Sri Krishna Pranam Sarvajana Sukhina Bhavantu. Thank you so much. Happy learning. Bye bye. And I just forgot, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, if this video was helpful, please do hit that like button. And also share this among your friends. Share this among your friends who are having any queries related to, uh, uh, related to dermatology. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much.